Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Hailstorm Firmware version 1.2. If you have already installed the beta of 1.2 and already seen the beta video, then there actually won't be any new information here and you are all set. So the beta video is actually unlisted on YouTube and the firmware, the beta firmware only goes out via the email. So this is the official video that will be listed and the firmware will now be available to download on the site. Definitely subscribe to the email list if you're interested in trying out the betas before they go live on the site. Anyway, let's get into the new features. So when powering up, you'll see the two columns in the center light up teal after the initial animation, and that'll let you know that you are on 1.2. So these two new features were user requested features. And the first one is a new mode, and it's right here. This is above note probability, and this is actually effects probability. So let's go ahead and load up a sequence. This sequence. So obviously that sequence is very heavy in effects. It's on almost every step. So if we go into our effects probability, just turn that on down. And yeah, this can be a really cool thing to just add variety to a sequence just by turning down the probability of effects. And of course, you can record automation of this probability as well if you'd like. So the second feature is this concept of sets. So normally when you go into load, you have only 12 sequences and 12 sample kits. But now when you go into load, you can actually hold buttons one through four. And this loads an entirely new set of 12 sequences and 12 sample banks. So if we load number two, for instance, that's the one we were actually just listening to. And then back to number one. So yeah, this is not a performable action. It does need to access the SD card to do this, so it will stop the sequence. But yeah, it just allows you to have a lot more samples and a lot more sequences loaded if you'd like. The file structure of the SD card does need to change to accomplish this, so definitely read through the manual and make sure you have your files set up properly. But yeah. Those are the two new features for version 1.2. Hope you guys enjoy them, and let me know what you think. All right, bye.